Hi YouTubers and subscribers and what is Dari Hiller doing in front of her car? Well, first I had to clean it out and uh, this, is, this is kind of funny. I found about like $10 worth of coins on my floorboards and my husband was freaking out. Um, he likes to keep all his coins in like little little containers. He separates all that stuff and you know, he finds a quarter. He's like, it's mine. So I found a lot of stuff in my car. Um, I was really surprised at some of the stuff I found. But anyway, that's besides the point. So what am I doing in front of my car? I'm in front of my car because this is part of our debt-free, slave-free series. We want to empower you people with as much good practical information as possible, uh, showing you some of our tips and some of the things that we do to keep us debt-free and keep our homestead sustainable without spending a lot of money. And part of that is making the yearly trip down to Costco and Winco. I'm sure all of you know about Costco's. Um, when we moved out here to the, the Pacific Northwest, there's another place that's actually called Winco's and they sell things in bulk. So what we're going to do today is bring you along shopping with us. And I'm just going to point out some things when we get to the store because a lot of the times it seems like you, I mean, everything's a bargain, right, at the bulk stores, but there's a couple things you want to shy away from, some other things you really want to pay attention to, and I don't want you guys to get lured into spending too much money for things that um, you don't need. So come along. Um, the car is clean. I'm not going to take you driving with us, but uh, we are going to go on a little road trip today. And look at this. This is so cute. <laughs> Sprig, is, Sprig is all ready. He's like... I've had a I've had a long day and I'm ready to go to Costco. All right, guys, let's of get shopping. A self-sustainable homestead is finding bargains. So we make the trip every year to Winkles and Costco, and we look for those bargains. This is back at home. The cranberry blends are like two forty. Um, I mean, they're expensive. Dollar eighty-eight. So we're not going to just buy one or two. We're going to load up. So this is our favorite section when we come to Winko's. As you can see, they have a huge bulk area. And the thing about buying in bulk is you still have to be pretty darn small, smart because we actually called ahead of time to order a lot of bulk items so that we weren't going to be wasting time filling up all these little bags worth of items. So when you are making that trip and you're going to buy some bulk items, call the store ahead of time. You'd be surprised um, that you can actually get this stuff in boxes and bags already. And in fact, like at Winko's here, you can save 5% if you order online. So that way you're not wasting a lot of time and money. But the prices really are phenomenal regardless when you buy in bulk. So people eat stuff like salt. Um, don't buy iodized salt. It's not good for you. If you're going to use any type of salt, I really stick with the colored salts and the sea salt. And you see here, and look at this, you can get um, pink, um, pink Himalayan salt only $1.22 a pound. You could buy the coarse and, and, and you can buy the seasoning salt. So if you're looking for salts, buy the colored stuff. And you'll save okay, so lots. here's another quick tip when you come to the granolas. Look at how beautiful this granola is. Maple nut, cinnamon raisin, and look at these prices. This is phenomenal, right? You think? Okay, you can make your own granola, people, and save. I know this is convenient. A lot of these bulk items are convenient, but trust me, we can go get some rolled oats and buy that in bulk. We can go get some raisins and buy that in bulk, and then the rest you can just do at home. So really, again, we're, we're trying to pinch and save money. So look at all those prices and they look alluring, but go over and buy the rolled oats instead and whatever additives you want, buy those in bulk and make your own. Okay, Starry. Starry. Okay, so I wanted to show you guys when you buy in bulk, how much you really are saving. Go to the store and compare just even rolled oats. Look at these prices. You can get 25 pounds for 15 bucks for old-fashioned oats. Fifth oats, 15 bucks. These are all 25-pound bags. You save an astronomical amount when you buy in bulk. So don't be afraid to go to these stores and start getting this stuff. It lasts as long as you put them in um, sealed containers. And we, we bought our, our quick oats and left them in the bag for, I hate to say it, about a year. And they're still okay. The other thing I wanted to point out, compare some of these emergency food essentials. You know, these things are nice to have, 
but really people don't spend too much money on stocking up on the emergency stuff. We go very light uh, in our pantry on it because we do our own canning. We buy the rest of the stuff in bulk and we repackage it. Um, you know, scrambled egg mix. And why do we have chickens? <laughs> because we're producing our own our own eggs. You know, refried beans. Why am I buying black beans in bulk and pinto beans? Because I can make my own refried beans by canning it. So. I just try to shy away from some of this stuff. Nothing wrong with having it, but look at the prices. You know, these things are pretty darn expensive. So just use some common sense, especially when you're pin um, pinching your pennies. The other thing is when you're in the bulk uh, section where the flowers are, you know, there's great prices on flour. People look at this white bread flour, only 45 cents a pound, and you've got... Um, the whole wheat pastry is only 73 cents a pound. Remember, don't be lured into buying flour in bulk. There's no shelf life for this stuff. Whole wheat flour is not going to last on your shelf, and neither is white flour. Um, you know, in a couple weeks, this stuff just isn't going to be good. So don't invest in and get lured into buying those type of items in bulk. It doesn't pay. You know what pays is getting yourself a wheat so grinder. I'm just going to pan and show you guys real quickly as we're waiting and buying all this stuff. Um, we bought a little bit of everything, and in fact, the, the dehydrated potatoes, <laughs> we asked them to remove it from the bin because uh, um, we didn't want to just put it in uh, bags like this. But a little bit of everything. I got my jasmine rice is in here. I got some more pinto beans, um, stocking up on some more, um, oh, big bag of cornstarch, lots of beans, lots of rice. I got some uh, great northern beans in there. So, and look at I even bought a chocolate chips. You buy that in bulk. Anything you can get in bulk, and then odds and ends. Um, Ziploc bags are cheap here. So, don't be afraid to load up people. More beans, beans, beans. I, I, I look at it as a hundred pounds each of everything is what you should be doing if you're stocking up your pantry. And that's going to be a big purchase, but it's going to be well worth it. So everybody knows Costco, and this is the other place that we like to go to when we're going to buy some of our uh, bulk items, but we still also have to be pretty smart about our purchases. So we'll take you inside and uh, see what we can find today. So when you take a detour in some place like this, this is where you get in trouble with people. So don't be lured into the TVs and the electronics. You are here for bulk food, all right? Forget about this stuff. So the one thing about coming to um, Costco is they sell a lot of butter in bulk. And remember that canning video? Instead of bulk, you know, buying all of this and then storing it in your freezer, which just isn't a good idea, load up at Costco. These are good prices for butter. You, I, you know, you can find really good sales if you wait, but if you're making a trip and you're going to invest some money, buy the Costco butter and can it at home. Don't keep it in the freezer. Okay, that is the other thing getting at Costco is cheese. And this is the thing. I do make some cheese myself, but um, it is a laborious act. And uh, sometimes making your own cheese cannot be as economical as buying it. So you see these prices here. You still got to watch your prices. But the cheese, um, you know, buy, you know, what I do is I buy a, a couple pounds of it. And real quickly, coconut oil, I know this is organic and it looks like a really good deal, but people, I'm going to warn you right now, don't buy the coconut oil at Costco. You can go online and get a five-gallon pail at Tropical condition, uh, Traditions. I'll leave you guys the link. This is where we buy all of our bulk coconut oil. It comes in a big old five-gallon pail. They pay for the shipping and it's, it is organic. Um, you can't buy enough of these to equal what you can get from tropical uh, tradition. So that's just kind of a tip here when you come to Costco. Don't buy the coconut oil. You can get it cheaper somewhere else. Okay, we made it home. Yay! The car was swaying and a rocking and a rolling, but we made it home. Now, this is the other important part. When you start buying, when you got all your beans and you've got all your rices and everything else that you buy, proper food storage. Watch my pantry video. It'll give you some some um, really quick and easy um, 
advice on how to store this stuff and I hope you do have a pantry if you don't it really is going to be imperative to store the stuff properly right away make sure you get the food grade uh, buckets there are buckets out there that you can get like at the bakery you can even ask like at the Walmart um, the bakery over there uh, there you know just think outside the box grocery stores go to their bakeries I went to our local bakery and they did have food grade buckets but they also had buckets that didn't have the gasket okay uh, that's good for storing your beans and everything, but not long term. Okay, it's got to have the gasket. Uh, so make sure you get the right buckets. Also, you can use big totes for short term storage. It just keeps the rodents out if you have problems with mice and things like that, or chickmunks. And you know, some of you may. Make sure it's cl uh, dry where you're storing your food items. No moisture. Don't store your stuff in a basement. Okay. Um, if you do, you better make sure you prepack, repackage everything into Mylar bags with oxygen absorbers. Okay. And I'm not going to go into the whole uh, how do you prepackage and what do you do. Uh, you can watch that other video because uh, hopefully you know you prepared yourself but if you did it's okay don't panic just go out there and get some of these things all right we saved a lot of money a lot of money and i'm going to get canning some things and um boy we're just happy campers today so thank you for coming along to um with us uh during our shopping trip and there won't be another one for a long time <laughs> so if you have any questions about the shopping trip and need some more advice as always, you guys are so great with leaving comments and questions. All right, I'll get back to you as soon as possible. And, and always, God bless.